Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic and on today's episode I'm going to touch on something that's been talked about already by a couple of people. This was first uh, broken earlier by Comic Pro Secrets, uh, Ethan Van Skyver, and then just recently a video was released by Geeks and Gamers. Jeremy over Geeks and Gamers broke this as well, but because I already made a video about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago at this point, on John Campia, I felt like I needed to make a follow-up statement to this, and I think that it's really important. And so, it is no secret that John Campia is very pro Disney. He's very he has been very pro Kathleen Kennedy, and that he's been very anti fan. And I know that there might be some people out there, even John Campia himself, who might not like me saying that, but it is true. It is true because whenever he's talked about the fans, whenever he's talked about the people who are who have been boycotting solo or any of these other projects, he's called them so many different names. I mean, he, of course, had that infamous tweet that I talked about not long ago where he referenced that they were racist and sexist. He also talks about how they are – he just used a lot of other really ugly names for people who are against this project. And he has been also very defended. He has been a huge defender of Kathleen Kennedy. Well, now we've got two different things going on. So now I, I just pulled this up. So he's actually live streaming right now talking about the Jurassic World box office and also talking about – Kathleen Kennedy, and I'm probably certain that that is indeed a a, uh, a follow-up to this video right here, which is the one that's been getting a lot of the rounds. So nine hours ago, he has uh, he talked about how there are five reasons why Kathleen Kennedy should step down from Lucasfilm. Now, this is a huge turnaround for John Campia because, again, this is the man. This is the guy who attacked fans who were being critical of Lucasfilm, who were being critical of Kathleen Kennedy, and now all of a sudden – he has – and look at the image he has right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, let's see. Reason one, her inability to do her important job, which is hire – let me get that back up. Hire and synchronize creative vision of the right directors. Okay. So, well, we already knew that. Like, we've been saying this now for – I mean, there have been people who have been saying this now for months. I know that. I've been talking about this uh, for, for a while now, too. And, it, oh, my goodness. I, I just cannot believe that he's actually doing this, that he's actually turning his back on Kathleen Kennedy. This is amazing. But also, I, I, what I wanted to point out first off is look at this image right here. Look at that. He's using the fadeaway image from the Avengers film. That's that's very interesting. That that is that is quite amazing. That is a huge turnaround. And I, I honestly don't know what it is. I don't know if he's being genuine. I, I don't know if he is just trying to jump on the train because he sees that there are thousands and thousands of people who he can't ignore anymore, who were angered by The Last Jedi, who have helped to sink the solo box office numbers, which again will have further box office numbers by the end of the weekend I'll be able to tell you with a pretty high accuracy about how much this film is actually en going to end up making and how much of a financial loss is going to be and I, I don't know if it's because of, of that or maybe it's a genuine change I honestly don't know again I don't know John Campia personally so I can't really say anything about him uh, on a personal level but what I can say is that he has gone from attacking fans to now uh, looks like uh, supporting them at least in their desire to get rid of this woman right here who has just slowly but surely uh, dismantled and destroyed uh, the Star Wars franchise. So again, we look at that image of her fading away from existence, which seems to pretty much mirror what's been going on lately because where has she been? She, has, she hasn't said anything since before the movie released. Uh, she's been very, very quiet. Uh, she hasn't really said anything about anything. And uh, I know uh, Ethan Van Skyver says that he believes firmly that uh, she's already been fired, that she's already been let go, and that they're keeping it quiet, or maybe that she's been shuffled around already, and, and that's why we haven't heard from her, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Again, I, I, I predict that if we don't hear anything after next weekend, after this coming weekend, uh, that we might not hear anything for a very long time, uh, because we will have box office numbers, and as I've talked about before, uh, the the bare minimum, uh, or rather the, uh, the max that a film will make is within its first two weeks, as far as percentages go, uh, because... It, uh, even when you look at uh, former Star Wars films, even when you look at films like, for example, uh, The Force Awakens, it made 49%, uh, over 49% of its total gross in the first two weeks. And every other Star Wars film has made significantly more in the first two weeks because, as we all know, when it comes to movies like Last Jedi, it just totally bombed after the first two weeks because that's when it made all its money and people soon, start, soon started to realize just how terrible it was. And and yeah, so this this is fascinating. This is really interesting. 
Uh, so good on you, John Campy. I hope this is genuine. I hope this is not just you either jumping on a bandwagon or possibly you maybe having some secret information. I know uh, Ethan Van Skyver said that he thinks that John Campy might have some information uh, which will le- which is leading him to say this. Maybe he knows that Kathleen Kennedy is being uh, is stepping down or is uh, moving, uh, and that's why he now feel com- feels comfortable to make this video. I don't know. I honestly don't know. God, what do you think? Uh, how, what do y'all think? Have y'all been following John Campia? Uh, have any of y'all uh, watched this video or any other? Or any of you watching this live stream right now? Is this live stream still going on by the time this video goes up? I don't know. Uh, but let me know. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm channeling my uh, my inner uh, Ethan Van Skyver right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a woman right here. Uh, the Force is female. Actually, no, the Force is, uh, is genderless because uh, it, it's, it's, it's not a human person. But that, that's okay. We... we uh, if, as long as you step down and give the and give Star Wars back to the fans, or at least someone who is a fan, uh, that would be great. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. So uh, anyway, what do you think? What do you think about John Campia? Do you think that he? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what do you think about John Campia? Do you think that he's being sincere here? Do you think that uh, he, maybe he has information? Do you think Kathleen Kennedy is gone? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will greatly appreciate. It. Also, if you like what you saw, uh, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I would greatly appreciate that. So have a great day, guys, and as always, God bless.